One thing we haven't talked about in any of the podcasts, really, and I love that you said that word, and I know very little about it. You know, I, I pride myself on trying to keep a, a, a breath with most things, but but sarcomas, like I don't see them that often. Obviously, it's very rare. So, did I understand you correctly that sarcoma has some of the same uh, utilities that pancreatic cancer does as far as fortifying itself, being mm -hmm. immune deserts? Is that also why it is just such a stubborn cancer to treat? Yes. Yeah. So, sarcoma is, um, um, is an, it's an area that I've developed a lot of interest over the last 20 years and have been doing research in. And it's about, it's about 15,000 cases a year in the United right. States. and there's at least 50 different types of sarcoma, so it's not all one cancer. Many of them have very distinct uh, tumor somatic mutations. The newer approach in sarcoma in research is to combine immunotherapy with a targeted therapy. I was gonna ask. So, yeah. so there's, so just like, um, and one of the things that I, many, many researchers, including myself, have seen is that uh, blood supply, abnormal blood supply that's brought into the tumor due to mutations, um, which is called an angiogenesis, um, really fights the T cell. It, it kind of helps mask the T cell. So often, to, you know, the tumors that are the most immune resistant all, often tend to be also very angiogenic. Yeah, they yeah. tend to have a lot of blood supply. Like renal cell and, and, and some of the, mm -hmm. you know, bilia, uh, cholangios. And, and so in those cancers that are being resistant to immuno, some of them will respond to immunotherapy, especially if they have a lot of mutations. But sarcomas don't tend to be as mutated. You see more like uh, five, six mutations rather than hundreds of mutations as you see in, in melanoma. So they don't stand out to the T cell as much. They can hide more. So um, one one of the medicines that uh, a great paper came out in um, AACR's journal. Um, CCR, um, it was uh, a medicine called cabosantinib. And cabosantinib is a wonderful medicine that dries up the blood supply, so it blocks VEGF. It also blocks some of the growth um, mutations that are uh, driving sarcomas. And so, um, so we found that when you combine a medication like cabosantinib with immunotherapy, uh, you can often get uh, better better results, and uh, so a lot of this is in its very early early stages of research. Uh, we do use the traditional chemotherapies in the advanced stage, but um, we're actually finding that in some cases we can get uh, um, better results using targeted therapies and also immunotherapies.